Hello pool players, just a quick video. I wanna thank everybody, had huge success on my series, those last four videos on stroke flaws. And I wanna ask you guys, I was thinking about that this morning, you know, I've kinda of run out of stroke flaws. Now there are others, I'm sure, and I need your help. I would like you, in the comments, to let me know what you want me to cover and I'd be happy to put together a video for you personally to help you with maybe what you're having problems with in terms of a stroke flaw. Now the other thing is, I've had two people, not two people, many people, but two items within the stroke flaws that were questioned. And one was, how do you stop dropping your elbow? Now I've been fortunate in that when I started, I was natural to hold my elbow up. So I, I think this might help you. If you could stand, sideways to a mirror and take your cue but well, first of all just take your arm and put your arm up okay and then just keep your elbow up and watch in the mirror and just pivot your lower arm like a pendulum okay like on a clock a grandfather's clock just back and forth then grab your cue and do the same thing okay now just keep a real loose grip. I'm barely holding my cue. I'm just dangling it there. It's kind of like I'm holding a baby bird, okay? What I think will happen for you is your brain is going to process this feedback. You're going to see your arm up. If it starts to dip, you're going to know how to adjust because you're going to feel what you need to do to keep it up there. And then take what you felt back to the table. It's going to be very, very helpful for sure. Now the other thing, you saw the one video that I just put out where I shut my eyes. Okay, th let me tell you what, why I did that, why I came up with that idea. And that doesn't mean that you have to shut your eyes. The main point here is that try not to watch your object ball or your cue ball when you're shooting. Focus on the cue ball, period. Just like I mentioned in that video about the putter, putter face, not looking up and watching the ball go in the hole. Okay, the same thing here. We want to watch where we strike our cue ball and then just, you're going to have to control your mind here and just stay in that spot and block out the movement of your cue ball and the movement of your object ball. Okay, because when you start to look for those, you're starting to move your head. And if you move your head a little too soon, you could miss your shots. It's just going to, it's just going to make you less consistent, okay? So what I suggest, if you don't want to close your eyes, you're going to have to somehow just fixate on that cue ball location, okay? I've had a couple people ask me about that, and a couple of them suggested, why don't you just not focus on those balls? Well, that's easier said than done, for sure. Um, and I know that a few others have said, man, it's hard not to look at that cue ball or that object ball as it takes off. Okay, so these are just little things, and it's all these little things that culminate, that stop us from being consistent. It really is. It, you know, I always ask myself, how do I become consistent? Well, today I'm in daily dead stroke, no bragging, but I've done a lot. I've worked hard on my game and you can get there too. And I'm going to tell you something that's going to really be um, encouraging to you. Uh, as for instance, as I've gotten more consistent, putting in all that time, getting rid of all those little chinks in my armor from my, all those stroke flaws, Today, I do not have to practice as often as I used to. You know, I used to practice three hours in the morning, three hours at night, religiously. And I did that for three years, okay? It's been now, what, 44, almost 45 months now since I've been uh, in this game. Um, but what I have come to find out is that I can get on the table right away the next day and often run out a nine ball pattern, okay? That's my game, I, I love nine ball. In my opinion, in fact, Brian from FX Billiards just did a video on this, and he said, if you wanna learn how to play position, play rotation pool. And I knew that long ago, because I said, I need to understand how to move this cue ball around accurately. And today, and let me just say this, I started out with three ball rotation, then when I would get 30 straight, I went to four ball, then to five ball, and as I progressed up to like nine balls, that reduced, I didn't have to do three, 30 in a row. Um, I remember uh, at six ball and seven ball rotation, I was doing six or seven in a row, okay? And then I progressed, added a ball, just so that you know. But today, I practice with 11 balls, 
Well, yesterday I did 11 ball rotation for about two hours and I had several runouts. And then when I dropped back to nine ball, oh man, it's just so much easier, okay? So you're not going to have to, if you get your game to this point, where you have the loose wrist, loose grip, uh, straight stroke, stroke is everything. If you have all of that going, your pre-shot routine, your fundamentals are completely sound, you're gonna find that you can go right back on the table after not playing after a couple days, and all of a sudden you're just like, boom, you're in stroke. I, I don't know what it is, other than it's just all about fundamentals. Once you get your fundamentals locked down, you will become a, a better player, consistently better player. Let's just put it that way. So anyway, quick video. Just wanted to thank everybody. And by the way, a lot of you guys subscribed from those last four videos. I think it was over 120 or something like that. Thank you guys so much for that. If you don't know about my channel, I will answer every question on these comments. Everyone, by the way. Um, but also... I'll personalize, if I can't answer a question, I'll actually make a video and send a link to you, okay, to be, uh, to be able to help you along with your game. And also, don't forget, hit this like button now. This helps me and the algorithm. But also, give me a suggestion or two on Stroke Floss, because I'd be happy to continue this series, okay, if I can. And uh, it just helps me uh, put out better and more quality content. Thanks for everything, and by the way, if you want to watch another great video, watch this one right here. And until next time, like I always say, keep on practicing.